Okay. Got cut off on the last video. I guess I had exceeded my limit. I had to go and clean up some files. Okay guys, this one's dry, this one's still wet, look how beautiful that looks, doesn't that look nice, this way, okay now we'll do a hand. Let's do a fist. Same technique. Stir the paint. Look how thin that paint is. See there? It's thinner than we do for the creases. All right. We're just gonna do the entire fist, everything. This time we'll try to make it where it doesn't drip as much. Maybe if I hold it down like that, do it over the bowl so the excess just gets all right. There we go. We painted that fist. Now we're gonna take this brush. And we're going to be doing a lot of pouncing and blotting. And we will have a nicely blushed hand when we're done. Now remember these feet and hands, by the time you're done, are not going to be all one color. You are going to have definition because some areas you're going to go over an extra time or two for your darker areas.
Okay. There we go. You see? It's nicely blushed. Like I said, some areas will have definition. Around the nail beds, not in the nail, not on the nail, but around. It'll be a darker red around there. The knuckles will have an extra um, coat of paint to make them darker. And of course, by the time we get our nail tips on there, it's going to look really, really pretty. And no naked areas. These areas right here, it's real common for them to end up naked and gunky. This totally eliminates that. All right, after we're done with all the blushing and all the creases, then we'll go on to some fine details. Like the nail beds, milia, baby acne, scratches, um, stork bites, things like that. All right. See you next time.